Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create supervisory switch Revit family for OSNY gate valve. In this video, I will create two part of family, main family and bolt nut, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the blend. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw a circle. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Edit top profile. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw a circle. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the blend. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 145 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 71 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to create. Select the void sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Offset 1 mm and draw the line. Insert dimension and lock it. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Finish the void sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. 
select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 160 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Offset 2.5 mm and create similar. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. Draw another rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Draw a circle. Copy and paste the circle. Finish the void extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 7 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a 6 sides polygon. Select polygon and mirror to opposite side. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry and mirror to opposite side. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. 
select the existing reference plane. Offset 18 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the extrusion and go to edit. Edit dimension and make equal. Finish the editing. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference line and lock it. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for trip rod offset. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw another rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the geometry. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for mounted rod spacing. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. 
select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Save the family. To create bold head and nut family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a 6 sides polygon. Set 4 mm for extrusion end value. Finish the extrusion. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the family and create similar. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace red color material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Let check how this family work with the gate valve family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag family and face to work plane. Go to front view. Relocate the family. Check in 3D view. Select the family. Associate mounted rod spacing and trip rod offset parameter to BS1. Go to family type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. OK, supervisor switch family for OSNY gate valve creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.